After decades of development and testing, the first Dream Chaser test article is complete and preparing for its maiden flight. In the past, the space shuttle was a staple within the industry, flying over a hundred times both with crew and cargo. Its unique design allowed it to be reused after landing on a runway. However, it was far from perfect, and eventually was retired in 2011. Now, a new, modern space plane is getting ready to lift off and mark the beginning of Dream Chaser's busy future. This includes multiple variants, meant for crew and cargo, a smaller size, folding wings, and a host of features meant to improve on past designs. This news from Sierra Space comes just in time as they prepare for a launch in only a few months from now. Here I'll go more in depth into the completion of Dream Chaser tenacity, the final steps before launch, why this mission is so important, and more. Dream Chaser was publicly announced all the way back in 2004. At the time, the company working on the project wasn't even Sierra Space. It was a different group called Space Dev. This being said, a few years after starting the project in 2008, Space Dev and the Dream Chaser space plane were acquired by the Sierra Nevada Corporation, the parent company of Sierra Space. Since then, we've seen different tests and progress as the company developed and assembled this vehicle. This morning, however, we got arguably the biggest update in the project's over decade-long development. Here, Sierra Space tweeted saying, We've arrived at a profound milestone in both our company's journey and our industry's future, said CEO Tom Weiss. Tenacity, the first vehicle in the Dream Chaser fleet, is complete, and will ship to NASA's Neil Armstrong test facility in the coming weeks. This included an image of the entire Sierra Space team with Tenacity complete in the background. In a different, closer-up image provided by the company, we can see a bunch of different details such as the vehicle's thrusters at the front. The folded wings needed to fit within the fairings of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket can also be seen in addition to thousands of thermal tiles spread across the body. In a company statement, Sierra Space said, Today we proudly revealed the fruits of years of passionate determination, countless breakthrough innovations, and relentless commitment, the remarkable Dream Chaser space plane. Sometime in the next few weeks, this vehicle will ship to NASA's facility in Ohio for final testing before launch approval. Interestingly, Tenacity has already been to this facility before, where it completed some checkouts. Specifically, earlier this year, Sierra Space and NASA successfully completed a joint thermal vacuum demonstration test at the facility. The test was performed in preparation for integrated Dream Chaser spacecraft environmental tests, which were only weeks away. The test validated the ability of NASA's in-space propulsion facility to achieve both hot and cool temperature extremes under vacuum, along with a collection of critical data needed to increase accuracy slash fidelity of models used to predict thermal conditions and vehicle performance. It went well, and now later this month, a few more tests will be completed. Once testing is done, assuming the results are good, Dream Chaser Tenacity will be ready to ship to Florida to be integrated onto Vulcan. The first launch will see Tenacity lift off before it attempts to reach and berth to the International Space Station. It will bring cargo and stay docked at the station for a few months before separating and attempting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. If successful, it will then attempt a runway landing, completing the first mission. Back in January 2016, NASA announced that Dream Chaser had been awarded one of the CRS-2 contracts and committed to purchasing a minimum of six resupply missions to the ISS. This initial mission is mainly a demo and is meant to prove the capability and operations of this new vehicle. If things go well, we can expect a ramp up in Dream Chaser flights as the company completes its contracted missions with NASA. In terms of a specific launch date for this maiden flight, there are still a few unknowns. Most recently, the company was targeting next month in December. However, the vehicle the Dream Chaser is launching on, ULA's Vulcan, has faced quite a few delays. The first launch of Vulcan, which will not be carrying Dream Chaser, is targeted for Christmas Eve or December 24th. The second Vulcan launch will be the one carrying Tenacity. For this reason, even if the first Vulcan flight goes perfectly, the second launch won't happen until January or February of 2024 at the earliest. In addition, a few months ago, Tom Weiss, chief executive of Sierra Space, said the company was continuing to work towards a first launch of its cargo Dream Chaser vehicle as soon as December. Most importantly, he commented that he expected Dream Chaser to be fully integrated with its launch vehicle in the December timeframe, and launch in a window that extends into early February. This also matches up with the time needed for Sierra Space and NASA to complete the final testing. The last time we saw a space plane launch was back in 2011, during the final space shuttle mission. Even though Tenacity is also a space plane, it's very different than the shuttle. The Dream Chaser space plane is a multi-mission vehicle meant to support a variety of LEO needs. It can be customized for both domestic and international customers via vehicle configuration, launch site, destination, landing site, duration, and a host of other variables. Sierra Space is quoted saying, Tenacity represents an uncrewed spiritual successor to the space shuttle, and at 30 feet or 9 meters long, it's roughly a quarter of the total length of the space shuttle orbiters. Tenacity's pressurized volume is 33 cubic meters, including both the space plane and the cargo module. This makes the space plane more sustainable and easier to maneuver 
but it also assists with the gentle 1.5G runway landings, ideal for fragile cargo. Compatible with a wide variety of launch vehicles, Tenacity will be launched in a stowed configuration inside a 5-meter payload fairing, making it significantly more flexible by reducing ascent loads on the vehicle and protecting the vehicle from debris. Back in 2017, Cirrus Space conducted a test flight where the team tested the Dream Chaser hardware during an autonomously conducted atmospheric flight. On descent over the California desert, the Dream Chaser test vehicle autonomously deployed its landing gear, touching down on the runway at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California, demonstrating the space plane's unique lifting body design. As for in-space maneuvering, Tenacity will utilize internally developed thrusters with three different thrust modes. In addition to the space plane itself, the company will attach a large module to the back of the vehicle named Shooting Star. The Shooting Star cargo module is a flexible 15-foot transport and cargo vehicle to be used as an attachment to the Dream Chaser space plane. Dream Chaser, with the help of the Shooting Star, can deliver up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to low Earth orbit. As for the heat shield, thousands of unique individual tiles are attached to each portion of the space plane. The difference between black and white is an additive to the outer glass coating, which helps balance heat absorbed. Each tile is unique in design, and differs in size, shape, thickness, and density. In the past, the Space Shuttle used tens of thousands of tiles, which presented a few issues. However, CR Space is quoted saying, SNC engineers have been able to update the TPS tiles from what was used during NASA's shuttle program with more innovation, better technology, and utilizing lessons learned. They use more modern manufacturing techniques to increase strength and reduce cost. Another difference between the tiles is Dream Chaser tiles are about 10 inches by 10 inches while those on the shuttle were 6 inches by 6 inches. Dream Chaser tiles are also stronger and lighter weight than those used during the shuttle program and meet all micrometeoroid orbital debris or MMOD requirements to ensure safe entry, descent, and runway landings for crewed or cargo missions. These, among other changes, are intended to make the tiles even more reliable and easier to refurbish. Adding to the upcoming physical testing of Tenacity, Sierra Space has also been training crews which will be on the ISS when the vehicle arrives. In this case, multiple NASA astronaut crews have visited Sierra Space facilities to undergo detailed training on understanding the vehicle, rendezvous and proximity operations, hardware and cargo transfer scenarios in anticipation of Dream Chaser deliveries to the ISS. This training is conducted by Sierra Space subject matter experts and includes classroom training and training inside a full-size mock-up of Dream Chaser. This training has been completed with a few SpaceX crews that will launch on Dragon and spend a few months at the station all of which in preparation for the return of space planes and the main flight of Dream Chaser Tenacity. Dream Chaser Tenacity is officially complete and only needs to finish some final testing before it's shipped to Florida and integrated for flight. This one mission has been decades in the making after many years of development and testing. If successful, we can expect to ramp up in flights and the return of frequent space plane missions within the industry. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.